good morning this is Tamara Coleman I hope everybody is safe um, and if you're not safe please get to an area where you can become safe this morning's message is um, about love and some godly advice um, there is something powerful going on right now and the ungodly needs to hear the Word of God the righteous must give good advice in abundance, and this is an emotional plea to tell others to only speak the absolute truth and bring your prayer to the altar. Heavenly Father, God, in the name of Jesus, allow us to hear your words of wisdom. Let us reach into the Bible, take it out the words that is for the day, meditate on it, manage ourselves, and um, love you because your word is forever and in your words, it requires a good heart. Ask you, O oh Lord God, to help us to get there so we can receive your message and um, love you better. In Jesus' name, amen. So uh, <laughs> the topic is called Bible Verses <clears throat> About Ungodly Advice. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is crackling. So Proverbs eleven fourteen says, where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Proverbs 19.20 says, Hear counsel and re receive instructions that thou mayest be wise in the latter, latter end. Proverbs 24.6 For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. And in multitudes of counselors, and in multitude of counselors, there is safety. Proverbs 3, 4, 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Ephesians 4, 29 says, Let no corrupt communications proceed out of your mouth, but... That which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. First Kings twelve six eight, and King Re Rehoboam consulted with an old man that stood before Solomon his father while he yet lived, and said, How do ye advise? that I may answer this people. Proverbs twelve fifteen, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Proverbs fourteen fifteen, The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Proverbs fourteen fifteen, the simple believe every word, but the man, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Proverbs one seven, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but the fools despise wisdom and instructions. Last one. Ephesians 6, 4, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. Once again, like I said, there is something powerful going on right now, and the godly needs to hear the word of God. The righteous must give good advice in abundance. This is an emotional plea to tell others to... To only speak absolute truth, safety, and bring your prayer to the altar. And Romans 5, 6, 11 should end it. You read it, and then you end your prayer with an amen. May all those who are out there protesting uh, speak about powerful mo movements, moments. Don't be out there to exchange any words if it's not needed. Just give God all of the glory listen to godly advice and you shall be blessed bless the lord all my soul and all that is within me bless the lord god bless